All right, so it's my first time vlogging on the camera. We should adjust the angle, huh? It's weird, it feels like I have like a dash cam on me. It's kind of more enticing to vlog knowing that I have a smaller camera available to me because the biggest issue with my actual big camera is that it's, it's a big camera. And so I, when I carry that around, I'm also carrying around a mic, whether that's wireless or not. I don't have the DJI wireless mics or any of the uh, like road mics or anything like that. So whenever I'm using a mic, it's a shotgun mic or my big Sony wireless mic, which takes up a lot of space. And it, it just kind of is very inconvenient to carry around. Right now I just have it, this set up on a Ulanzi suction cup mount. I believe it's an SCO2 model or something like that. I'll have it linked down below. Y'all y'all know what it is if y'all see the video on my channel. If you want to see what, how the product is, just go ahead and take a look at that video. I actually don't think I tightened the suction cup all the way. I partially did it because the camera's so light, but it's always good to make sure that you have it fully, uh, you know, sucked on. Just don't sound right, but it, it's a wide angle like I've always wanted. So I wanted to vlog a friend, something like that. We literally have a wide angle. Set it up with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty cool concept for this camera. I definitely will be using it for like quick vlog moments because I don't know how it sounds with like the wind. I don't know if the wind is even blowing the mic. And I also have a different mount on that I could than what I could be using. The other mount is like um, it has a dampening sound dampening for like whenever you're ride driving or not. So I don't know how this one is going working. I could have put it on the dash of the car with a sticky mount, but I didn't want to uh, have the issue of the rattling. So I went ahead and just connected to the window, which is more stable. But again, it could be admitting like vibrations, but I have no idea. I guess I won't find out until I watch this video. This, because this is basically a week in my life of vlogging, which isn't really exciting because I don't really have much going on other than work until I go out of town for Austin. That will also also be part of this video because I'm gonna be vlogging on this for this video itself. I, I feel like overall, that's what I'm gonna be using this camera for is like a vlog moment that I don't wanna have to take out the big camera, set it up, make sure the mic's on and all this other crap. It's just a lot easier to pick it up, flip the screen open and just press record and just start talking. I know I'll be in focus because it has the face tracking. I know the audio will be good for the most part. I don't know how about different environments, like loud environments or not, but I just know that it's gonna be good for the most part, usable. And that's why I also don't have to worry about everybody looking at me with a big camera or if I, you know, I have to hold it or set it up on a tripod so I can record myself. I don't really have to do that with this. I can just quickly pop, say what I have to say, and then just close it. That's it. I'm headed to work right now. I got a couple things I got to do in the office. I got to edit a little bit, so I have to get that done. And then I might be going to a going away party. I don't know yet because I have a meeting at 6 p.m. tonight for this project that I'm working on next or at the end of this month. I have to make sure that um, I join that meeting at 6 o'clock, 6 to 7. I think they're going to eat like 6:30 ish, 7. So I don't know. I might have to stay on campus and do that meeting. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Okay, so I don't know if I talked about this in the unboxing video, but I said I believe it has voice commands. And I just found out that you have to toggle the setting on. So if it's not working, basically you have to say like start recording, stop recording. You can say, that was probably a bad idea to say on video because that, well, that could have gone bad. But I guess it shows that it's not a complete viable option if you're trying to start or stop. But uh, at the same time, you could also have it turn off the camera if I want to. If I say a certain word, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I don't know how much I'll be using that, but for like instances like if I'm driving, I can just say do this and do that. And that'd be a lot easier than having to just try to reach and stop the recording and stuff. All right, I guess we'll test it out right now. Uh, I'm getting an energy drink real quick because uh, I need caffeine because I only got like four hours of sleep editing the unboxing video for this. But yeah, so uh, stop recording. No, okay. Stop recording. Okay, so after a couple tests, it turns out that like the voice commands, they obviously work. There's also hand gestures that you can do, but at the same time, uh, the voice recording would be, or the voice commands would be optimal or something like this, but they seem to not work instantly sometimes. Like on the first time, it might not work. The second time it will, it, it's kind of hit or miss. So I was able to start it earlier, fine. Stop it, took a couple tries, and starting it back up again took a couple tries. Took a couple tries, but it could have been because it was in low or standby mode or whatever it's called, where it's just like the screen's off, and, but it's still on. I don't know. Who knows? Two things. One, I packed two of the voice commands. Turns out you kind of have to like emphasize each word for it to work. I was thinking because this is a 4K camera, and with the camera being 4K, you would expect it to obviously be high quality. But at the same time, it's an action cam. It's a very small sensor. 
It's not a full frame camera. It's not an APS-C camera. It's literally the tiniest sensor you can think of. Obviously, there's gonna be some compensation with that. It's gonna be a little grainy. It's gonna be a little noisy. It's not gonna be sharp as you would want it to be. But the only good side to it is that it has really good audio. Now, of course, video and audio are 50-50, and of course, you gotta have good of both. People are more inclined to watch a video that has better audio than it has better video because people have to have that auditory sense of like what's happening. If you all you hear is this, like nobody's gonna watch it. But if it sounds really good, like this does, then people are gonna watch it just because they can understand what I'm saying and not necessarily worry about what they're seeing. All right, so I just got off of work and I decided to like look more into the camera and how to like use the settings and stuff. I'm still shooting automatic right now just because I'm, you know, changing lighting conditions. I don't know. I feel like it's just not as sharp as it could be. It could just be the lighting, I guess. But when I was in the car, I was looking at over, looking over some of the footage. The wind's blowing right now. I don't know if y'all could hear it. The wind's definitely blowing and hitting the mic. It has to be. But um, we're really about to show you how easy it is to set this camera up. Like right now it's in my hands, right? I have it in my hands. I'm vlogging. I literally set it on the mount. That's it, bro. That's it. That's all I have to do. Like, that's got to be the easiest way to mount and unmount a camera. And it's locked in. Like, it, it, <sighs> this is crazy. I, this is cool. All right. So, I don't know if the pre-roll caught that, like, before I started this recording. Because I have it set to 30 seconds. But it's so hot outside that when I held the mount, it says it's metal, it burned my hand. Like, it actually burned me. Like, it hurts. Dude, it's so hot. It's 97 degrees outside. 97 in Texas. If you don't know, Texas is really humid. It's so hot. Like the seat belts are hot. The buckle's hot. Like I can't even touch oh. the metal on the buckle. It, it's impossible to like, if you touch it, you're cooked. Your hand is cooked. I have to crack the windows just to let some air out because when it circulates, it's just blowing hot air all in my face. But hey, the mount held up. So if you were wondering how the <laughs> Ulanzi car mount works, it's, it's holding up just fine. But I also have the standard audio on now. So if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell the difference. So I guess that's, this is another test to see how that works out. But so far, despite the quality not being optimal, I, I think it's like definitely a solid video camera for what I'm just trying to do, just trying to vlog. So I don't know. And I also like that I could just take the little pot off if I wanted to move around and stuff. All right. So I've been home for like 20 minutes or so. Just trying to take a quick, I try to take a quick nap and then I'm about to hop into a meeting. I have a, a meeting at 6 p.m. for this tournament. I'm going to be working um in a couple weeks uh it's a basketball tournament it's a tbt event i'm gonna be working that event in a couple weeks so i have to hop in a zoom call for that and i'm about to do that right now but before that i'm gonna do a couple uh like 20 minutes worth of editing for the unboxing of this camera so i need to get that done because i really need to get back on my grind for this channel and get the just get back on it i don't know i just need to edit that video get it done um it's about halfway edited and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i have to hop on this meeting so let's go ahead and get that done all right so <laughs> i made a dumb mistake i thought the meeting was today uh could have sworn it was today but i guess it's actually uh <laughs> next tuesday of the 9th so yeah i am heading to the dinner now i'm gonna be literally 15 minutes late because it starts at 6 30 um yeah so i screwed up i screwed up bad but it is what it is we make mistakes i'm probably dyslexic uh so i can play that card so yeah uh, i guess we're heading to the dinner now whoa it's so bright i guess that's the whole point of buying indie filters i don't know it actually kind of worked i just saw it drop down uh I don't know what it dropped, shutter or aperture, who knows? I don't even know if you could adjust the aperture. Anyway, uh, ISO or shutter, I think the only thing is that really adjust. So I'm headed to the dinner at a place called Piggy's. Never been there. It's like a, I think it's like a bar and grill. I could be wrong, but I don't know how I messed up that bad. I don't know how I read a whole week ahead and assumed it was today. I'm so dumb, bro. I'm dumb. But it's all right. We, 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 we take a tolls, so we get there 10 minutes earlier than we would if we didn't, so. I really wish I was recording my reaction because <laughs> I opened up my calendar during the time lapse I was doing of me editing for like five minutes. It popped up and it said Tuesday. But it is what it is. I don't know. All right. I'll, uh, I don't know if I'm going to record. I don't know if I'm going to record at the uh, dinner or not because I don't. I want to carry my Fuji and this camera. I'm bringing the Fuji just to take like Mims, Mims pics because uh, Gangi is leaving. So 
Yeah, yeah, I said all that. That's all inside jokes in the office. If you don't, you don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so I put off vlogging for like a day because I didn't do anything yesterday other than work out, go to work, and that's about it. <laughs> I literally was home working all day. So right now I'm about to head to Austin. So let's go ahead and let's try out a little montage and see what this little camera can do. We also got some fireworks. I'm heading to campus to meet David so he can park on campus, but I also have to get my mom a car wash before I head out because her car is dirty. Actually, it is dirty. I don't know. I was going to do quotation marks. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this car wash in. Um, <laughs> see what it looks like. Should I put the camera on the outside of the car? No, that'd be crazy. We definitely would lose it. Hello. Yeah, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. You want to save tons of money and keep your car nice and clean? I got one. I got these passes for work. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. You have a good one. Thank you. I don't know if y'all heard that, but she called me baby. That made me feel good. Made my day. Call me baby. Beating the brakes off the windows back there. I don't know if y'all saw that. Let's give y'all a little light so y'all can see me a little bit. Oh, there goes the natural light. My wheel is moving. I must have not had a straight over there. All right, yeah. <sighs> Three and a half hour road trip. Go ahead and get the sussies going. So I just got my, my waterproof case in. I'm kind of pissed because I ordered a wrist strap that could also be like a head strap for like, you know, it helps it float. So if I was to go in the water and fall off or I drop it or whatever, it would float. Well, they sent it to me without the string that would be used to like connect to the camera. So it's literally just a floating strap and nothing else. So I had to return it. And I've had so many problems ordering accessories for this camera already. Like the first problem I had was the screen protector. I ordered a screen protector and it wasn't in the package. The package was open. <laughs> it's just this camera's causing me more issues already. It's all right. I'll figure it out. It's not the camera's fault. It's not the company's fault. It's the third party accessories that I'm buying. So I guess that's my fault. And this is a really good test to see how the audio sounds because those vents are loud. That's why I can barely hear myself talking. Let's go, let's go to campus and pick up David. Okay, so um, I'm actually gonna be sitting here for a little while. I'm actually at the campus now waiting on David. He said he just finished packing. It's one o'clock right now, so we still have, our check-ins at three, three and a half hours away or so. That's fine because we can check in whenever. It's not like we're doing anything anyways. I just wanted to make sure that boy did not fall asleep, so I kept blowing up his phone and he just texted back. But uh, now I'm probably just gonna edit some, get some of the <laughs> unboxing video done because I've still not finished that video. So I'm gonna be sitting in this parking lot and getting some editing done because I need to get back on it because I've just been, I've been so tired and lazy and sleepy and just haven't been wanting to really edit. But we gonna, we gonna fix that, we gonna fix that. All right, so we finna, we finna go eat shawarma. 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 This laggy. Oh. Whoa. Shawarma what? Shawarma. Never had yeah, she doesn't even know what shawarma is. That's crazy. Shawarma. How have you never had shawarma? Mm. I'm a chicken tender girlie. Let's get the point five. Oh, you're gonna be my <laughs> I don't gotta do anything beach. for that. <laughs> it's, it's, like, like it's like it's a beach day. It does smell like a pool. Probably some of that. Now we're in the pool here. Can't cuss the garage media channel. It's PG 13. Some fellas. Some pals. Some pals. <laughs> Getting the shawarma. You ain't never had shawarma before, huh? No. What's up, homie? This is our first mukbang. Got you. Got it. You got what? Got you louder. What? Is your ass is sweaty? That's disgusting. But yeah, we got the shawarmas. Mmm. Not to cuss on the professional page. Rick. Heck. Heck, man. Stop recording. Hello. 
That's exactly how they live around, man. Where are we at? Barton Spring? Yeah. At Barton Spring. On the phone, man. Just get off the phone for once. All right. You can't be doing that. I got a torn hammy. You expect me to do that? Part of your exercise. <laughs> you said get over? For get the, over. For the boys flag is crazy. Gross. Yeah. We're gonna take this in the water. I got the waterproof case. So we're gonna jump in the water. You're with gonna this. lose out the bottom. Of the Shut water. up. It has to find my iPhone. So we should be fine. <laughs> All right, so we got the waterproof case. Gonna go in. Can yeah. Go down. Yes, sir. Are you being a you gotta go underwater with the camera. Uh, there's algae in there. She died. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've been back for a couple weeks, and I kind of didn't really finish that video off because most of the time I was just actually hanging out with friends and didn't really want to bring the camera or pull out the camera whenever I was actually, you know, enjoying time with them. So I didn't do a full week in my life, but you do get to see some examples of like underwater stuff, uh, how the camera works just in vlog style. And overall, I haven't gotten to editing it yet, but I do think that this camera can be used like as a primary vlog camera if you're going to be okay with like a wide angle and stuff like that. Of course you can crop in and stuff, but kind of defeats purpose of like a vlog camera that's not open wide <laughs> not wide open but like your arm has to be extended long so yeah I think this is a good vlog camera sorry I had to like come in the car real quick because uh I'm actually shooting a tournament for TBT uh, it's like a basketball tournament thing that like a bunch of alumni from like colleges and stuff build teams and stuff like that and they kind of come together and play against each other and it's like a lot of charity stuff too so it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool event but yeah so I am basically just ending this vlog off and then I'll be starting probably a little vlog with this. Maybe I'll do some like POV shots, but we'll see. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope it didn't sound too bad. I hope it didn't look too bad because it is a little action camera. It's not an actual like vlog camera or real camera. I hope it came out okay, but I'm sure it did. I'm pretty sure for the most part it did. I know like the underwater stuff, you're not gonna be able to hear anything because of the case, but like everything else, I feel like it sounded good for the most part. I know there's some parts in the videos, I've watched some of them where the audio is a little hard to hear because like wind or just other noises. So I wanna see how that's gonna turn out, but I guess we'll find out when I edit this. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed make sure y'all follow the instagram they're at duran media tiktok at duran media and yeah just keep supporting keep growing this channel the views on this channel have been pretty decent for the past couple of videos i'm actually very proud of it. they all broke 300 views and we have 200 subscribers so we're like getting 100 more views than followers and the screen does go dark which i don't like there you go but now we're back but um yeah so we've been doing pretty good on the channel i appreciate all that so yeah i'll catch you on the next video uh there's no lens cap for this camera so we're just gonna do the hand <laughs> uh so oh no logan paul